coffee date and date night. I won't be using those. <laughs> Hey guys, what's up? It's Andrea and today I'm back with a new video for you guys. And we're gonna hop straight into this one because I got a lot of information for you guys. It's pretty common knowledge that 2020 is getting ready to come to an end, finally. And to be honest, I already know, a lot of us do not have our life together in any way, shape or form. You've been slacking, you haven't had any goals set for yourself, and that's really disappointing. And trust me, I almost went down the same exact path, but I'm here to tell you what you should be doing to get your life together. And I've already adopted some of these tips into my life and it's been going really, really well. So I decided to take a whole bunch of notes that you guys can't see. You're just gonna have to watch the video to find out what's going on. So I've broken this video down into two different sections. So the first part I have for you guys is gonna to have to do with physical things that you could do to help improve your life, help you make some really positive changes in your life. The second section I have for you guys is gonna to have to do with mental things that you should be doing to get your life together. Okay, so we're gonna start off with the physical things that you could be doing to get your life together. Step one clean your room your room is supposed to be your sanctuary the place where you feel safe the place where you feel comfortable at all times no matter what situation you're in or what's going on in your life and sometimes it's annoying looking at the same thing every single day of your life sometimes you got to change things up and only way to change things up and make you feel good from the inside out is to change your room so if you're feeling a little bit off definitely change up your room and it should automatically make you feel so much better. Next, buy a planner. This is my planner. I got it from TJ Maxx, I believe. This planner is literally amazing. It's so pretty on the inside for one. It has everything all together. It comes with a whole bunch of stickers that you can put that says, be kind, do not forget, reminder with exclamation mark, important, arrows, meetings, workouts, co coffee date. Coffee date and date night. I won't be using those. It also comes with these really cute, just motivational stickers that they have. Just cute ones like money and check mark and dentist appointment and hair salon appointment and wedding. One of my favorite aspects of this planner is that it has your goals for each month, a to-do list. One of the most important ways in getting your life together is staying organized and a planner will help you do that. Take this everywhere you go and write in it. As soon as you realize that you have to do something, write in it. I promise you it'll be so much easier to stay organized. You won't forget the billion and gajillion things that people want you to do that clearly no human can do on their own but they want you to try and this will definitely make things a lot easier my next tip for you guys is to build a vision board so i could totally do a tutorial on how to build a vision board but basically what you're going to do is you're going to get a piece of cardboard and you're going to stick a whole bunch of pictures words quotes things on it that help represent what you want to be doing in the year 2021. You should be remaking this every single year and you can add on to it throughout the year, but any goal that you have set for yourself, you should add it onto your vision board. For one, this vision board is gonna motivate you 100% because you're gonna have to look at it every day and you're gonna be like, all my goals are right there in front of me. I have to go get them. Instead of just having them planted deep, deep down in your skull where they're probably never gonna be seen again, you know what I'm talking about. Now you've put your goals in writing to where it's physical now. It's not just this dream that's floating on in your head. Oh, I'm tired. Do y'all like my beanie? And I know part of my eyebrow is missing. I honestly don't know how that happened, but it did. So start planning out your day and your finances. So if you have a planner, then you already know what's going on. You plan out every step of your day. This is gonna help decrease your anxiety if you have anxiety because you know what you have to do at what time. It's gonna help you stay more organized because to organize your day out 
on a planner or a sheet of paper and know exactly what you have to do at what time, it's going to help you feel so much more calm and help make you feel like you're in control of your life and that you can handle everything that's going on. But if you just have it all floating around in your head and in your emails and your reminders popping up on your phones, it's going to be a lot more stressful, but at least in your planner, you could take a look at a couple weeks ahead and see what you have to do at what time. Same goes with your finances. I recommend getting a notebook or setting up a note section in your phone where you write down what you've earned for work or how much money you have, what you spent and what you cannot spend. Say goodbye to your toxic friends. We all know deep down inside that a friend is bad for us. And you know, there are some situations where we don't know somebody's bad for us, but for the most part we do and then it just starts drawing out our positive energy and starts making us feel so <sighs> you know that feeling you know exactly what i'm talking about especially if they don't care about you or your life or your goals or your your dreams and aspirations if they don't care about any of that stuff and won't support you throw the whole friend away <laughs> throw them in the garbage because they need to go and please don't make me have to tell you again next you need to go out more of course, that's pretty difficult to do in the pandemic, but if you tend to just always wanna be inside all day and you never wanna go out, you should go out. You don't necessarily have to go out with friends or go to a party. You could just go out on a nature walk and just watch the world. You don't necessarily have to interact with the world. But going out more usually always makes me feel better, whether I'm alone or I'm with a friend or whatever the case may be. It usually always helps me to feel better. And if you tend to get social anxiety, I've noticed that if you practice going out more and you practice talking to people more, especially strange, well, not strangers, people you don't know that well or people that you don't talk to on a daily basis, that really helps you get used to talking to people and feeling more comfortable being in the social setting. Next, you need to start educating yourself on things. With 2020, we had a crazy year, especially with the Black Lives Matter protests and the election and coronavirus and a lot of people just not educating themselves on the things that are going on in our world, not just our country, but outside of our country as well. We need to start educating ourselves on all of these things, not just be so consumed with what's going on in my life right now. This world is so much bigger than what's just going on in our lives. Stop being so consumed with how many followers you have on Instagram and stop spending so much time worrying about things that really don't matter at the end of the day. Start worrying about things that are affecting people in such negative and crazy heartbreaking ways and trying to figure out ways that you can improve those situations if you can because I promise you there are a lot of things you could do about it even if it's just sharing that information with somebody else. Next, you need to start being more honest. Be honest with yourself. Be honest with other people. We all lie. That's just the honest truth. We all lie at some point in our lives. And we all sometimes tell ourselves, okay, I'm going to stop lying. And then we lie again. It's human nature almost. But we have to stop treating it as something that's normal or perfectly okay to be dishonest with somebody. It's becoming very, very normalized to be be liars and that's not okay in any way shape or form next tip is to wake up earlier preferably 5 a.m so i've been seeing a lot of videos on youtube talking about how people should start waking up at 5 a.m because apparently a lot of billionaires are waking up at 5 a.m when people wake up earlier they're becoming more motivated they're recognizing their true purpose in life they're healthier and a lot of things can go right when you start waking up earlier not at 2 p.m where breakfast and brunch are over next tip i have for you guys is to stop spending so much money you spend so much money unnecessarily it's literally ridiculous so whenever i go to the store i always ask myself okay do i need this item or do i want this item this will help you save so much money when you start recognizing wants as compared to needs you don't want it you need it what stop eating out stop eating mcdonald's their chicken nuggets are good but it's not good for your body. Stop eating out. Okay, so let's get to the mental aspect of how to basically level up in 2020. Okay, 2020 definitely is over. How to level up in 2021. Here's the first tip. The one that we always tell ourselves that we will do, but we never do. 
stop procrastinating stop procrastinating we procrastinate all the time stop telling yourself oh, i'm gonna do it tomorrow i'm gonna do it the day after tomorrow oh i'm gonna have to do it next week oh i don't feel like brushing my teeth right now i'm gonna do it later tonight are you trying to set yourself up for failure i mean we always promise not only ourselves but other people that we will stop procrastinating and we break that promise every single time you have to learn some discipline you have to start getting things done on time stop waiting until the last minute to do what you have to do right now it's really not that hard next tip stop complaining you guys have to stop complaining. If you're not happy with the outcome or the result of something that happened and you, you're just very unhappy with it, if you can do something about it, then do something about it. But if you literally cannot do anything about it, then stop complaining about it. It's done, it's over, it happened. Okay, we get it, but you have to move on. Next tip, worry about yourself. No drama. At this point in life, you should understand that other people are just completely irrelevant. Stop worrying about what People who are not you have going on in their lives. It's not important, it doesn't matter. Worry about yourself because at the end of the day, all you have is yourself. Next tip I have is kind of two tips combined even though they kind of have something to do with each other but not exactly. The first part is to express your emotions. Stop being afraid of being so vulnerable around people or just being vulnerable with yourself. You don't always have to put on this tough persona like, and then people are like, wow, you're a tough child of crap. Like what? Dude, it's okay. It's okay to express emotion. It's okay to be sad. It's okay to be happy. It's okay to be mad. Trust me, I completely understand it's very difficult. I'm the main person who should be listening to this tip because if I'm really sad, like literally heartbroken, you probably would have no idea. I would literally be bouncing off the walls like I just drank five Red Bulls. The next part I have is to face your fears. It's not real. We're not actually scared. We just see something, we kind of react to it, but that's all in your head and you have to get rid of it. If you ask anybody on my cheer team well please don't but they can tell you i'm literally the main person <laughs> who should be listening to this like literally next tip is to learn to love yourself i shouldn't have to go into any explanation on this it's 2021 stop worrying about what other people have to say about you be yourself love yourself because like i said at the end of the day the only person you got is yourself next tip is to take some accountability stop blaming everybody for your faults and your mistakes and everything that you do stop flipping the script on everybody stop blaming everybody else for what happened as a result of something that you did like come on take some accountability be responsible and just stop it's really extremely immature and you will lose a lot of friends a lot of loved ones if you have that type of mindset and if you just never take any accountability and responsibility next step is to not focus on the future and stop dwelling on the past the past is gone you can't do anything about it and the future is unpredictable so stop worrying about it and enjoy the present because the present goes behind the blink of an eye and is going to become your past so focus on things that is going on now before you make a mistake now because you're focusing on things that don't matter right now and you're going to end up dwelling about it in the future last tip is to stop overthinking you will be okay at the end of the day you will get better your mind will get better your heart will get better your soul will get better but you have to give it time stop overthinking about everything that's going to happen because like i said you can't predict the future and you can't change the past so stop overthinking stop worrying stop stressing yourself out i'll literally have a conversation with somebody and i'll laugh and i'll be like uh -huh. and then like 20 minutes later when i'm thinking about the conversation i think my laugh sounds like <laughs> like that's literally what i think my laugh sounded like and i'd be like i can't believe i just laugh like that in front of this person like they're they probably think i'm so weird and creepy and ugly stop overthinking it doesn't matter whatever you're stressing about is going to be over within a matter of seconds and then you can move on okay guys so that's all i have for how to get your life together in 2021 and i really hope you guys paid attention and you took some notes and you guys liked my video and if you did make sure to share it with your friends because they probably need to get their life together too and if they don't well share it with them anyways because they might have to in the future like <laughs> make sure to comment make sure to subscribe i love you guys 2020 really happened like <laughs>